Jobert Oka. Hi, welcome to the Freeman Conversations. I'm Jobert Oka, the online editor of the Freeman. Happy New Year, everybody! And I'm very excited because today we'll be chatting with one of the iconic faces of the local chocolate scene. She's been called by several names. Philippine Cacao Sommelier, Philippine Cacao Ambassador, and of course, the Chocolate Queen. And I'm talking about no less than Raquel Choa. Hello, Raquel. Welcome Hello. to the Freeman Conversations and Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Jupiter. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us in this, if I may say, maiden episode of the Freeman Conversations for 2018. How's your New Year so far? Well, um, I can say that uh, this is one of the good sign that my 2018 is really really good it's because be uh good. yes because this is your the first interview the one who interviewed me so Buena mano. Buena mano. <laughs> <laughs> so and thank you for choosing me thank you work. very much and we'll take this as a good sign that the year will yes. also be very good for us in the freeman conversations <laughs> Aww, <that's not> the <laughs> it's been like five years ago it's I been think. Five, yeah relatively yeah. five years I and i've seen it. I've, I've seen how you oh. started, I've seen how the company started. Oh. In just a very short span of time, you've become very successful. In fact, oh. you've been invited to several international events. You've been given important roles, like for example, in the recently concluded ASEAN Summit uh, meetings here at Cebu and in, in Bohol also. How did you do it? How did you become the chocolate um, queen? <laughs> but, um, oh, sorry, but before to answer that question, Robert, um, I know this is life, but allow me to express this, you know, yes, no problem. Uh, express this uh, feeling that, well, of course, it's overwhelming. And then, um, in fact, I can imagine that, well, of course, I can say only five years, but this is already how the name, you know, how we put Cebu. I can say Cebu first because, you know, as I started here in Cebu. Of course, yes. So... Jubert, it was overwhelming and the more I feel like overwhelmed looking in front of you now because you're part of <laughs> to tell me that you're part of well, I, I've who seen, am I today I've now seen how the support. Yeah, thank you so much. So Jubert to answer that question. Well, honestly, uh, I don't know, but honestly me personally I cannot you know, I cannot really directly or give some people ask me tip or advice, but um, honestly, me too, I cannot um, say it exactly what is the secret. For me, I think for me, because based on what happened in my experience, wala lang, basta, um, it just came so naturally. Yes, because um, I give the best that I, I give the best that I can. It's like because I think Robert, what happened to me? Why I'm so passionate? I think one of the secrets. I think that should that be the passionate. Secret. Yeah, I think, I think that's one of the I secrets. Like that. <laughs> because I like I was hesitant to, I know, but yeah, because um, that passion, of course, when I discover that cacao is the main ingredient of chocolate, so I think that's the key. Well, mm. imagine if you found a hidden treasure, so I give the best that I can. And speaking of the and best, it, yes. we have, well, some of the best products that the company has produced through the years. Can you please take us to some of them? Um, this very is, few, but... Um, yes, 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 just a few. This one is, this is one of the, of course, one of the this first, is, right? If I remember the, correctly. Yes, of course, the tablea. Uh, and then, of course, the quick melt tablea. And then followed by the praline with a whole cacao nib. Uh -huh. Then I think on the third year I launched the uh, cacao de bola. Mm. You know, just like um, giving it awareness that I infuse some, uh, you know, some foods, a savory side. And then last right. year I launched the cacao de bola. You can see the cacao de bola. Sorry, mm -hmm. it's really fresh to me a while ago. So the cacao de bola in, in New York. So last year, yeah, that was last, last year, year, yeah. Year. And then the, um, giving the, the best is like. Cacao de bola. Allow so me this, to yeah, of, course, of course, of course, the, of course, of course, the application yeah. of cacao de bola. So this is, is the, this is this is freshly made, yes, freshly and, pounded, yes. pound, and then this one, this is the final product. Already. Yes. How long does this need to Harden? rest? Yeah. Just like to become. Okay. 
a day and um, and, um 24 hours and then the mm -hmm. following day you have to wrap it in, with cloth and then put it in a box then most of mga almost a week mm -hmm. uh, five to seven days that by the time we can distribute we can we can display in, in the in the, uh, in, the in the in the stores that the chocolate chamber okay you can use this for many things right many things like to infuse garnish and of course meat rub so mm. you know, instead of marinating so it's more on the, the savory side of chocolate because a lot of people when the words chocolate it's like oh it's sweet but no right yeah yeah so especially for filipinos yes. we, we, we've become very accustomed to the sweet I, chocolate i think not only filipino but i think at the world standard is like <clears throat> i think in general when you said chocolate the first like it will like what the, what like lighted or and I say in my mind is sugar sweet, sweet yeah. yeah but okay. uh, not anymore actually because about when, when you said like cacao de bola it's only cacao mm -hmm. <laughs> very nice this is one of the most recent products yes Jubert because um uh, though it's, this is although this is not recent this is like like um parang we just we just try to reintroduce or parang mm -hmm. more on the application of um, cacao de bola lang though of course since when i was a little girl so it talagang, you know the story everyone knows that's why people that yes. it's a chocolate yes. queen <laughs> because since when i was a little girl um of course we made tablea what i know of cacao is tablea in the form of tablet and mm -hmm. then of course when no time to mold the the cacao into tablea so we roll it like ball and then put it in the tin can for safekeeping so that's it so it's like more on um because i want to elevate so it's like more on not innovation because it's already made so parang in elevate na mga question. we'll be talking about that in a while but let's okay. go back let's go down memory lane okay. <laughs> for a little bit the company formally um started in 2011 so. rock were making in 2011 but before that you've been making chocolates already what do you mean again? um before 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 the company was formed formally you've been making chocolates already in fact uh, i remember you even putting chocolate in a burger before oh yeah <laughs> um that time it's like where did where did this love for chocolate come from for those who might not be very familiar with your story where did this love for uh, chocolate come from the love um sorry but the question that's the usual that's the usual question that I encounter. Um, the love, um, honestly, it's not all about. It's not all about love. My experience of um, first, honestly, it's sorry, but I'm a little like uh, not comfortable using the word chocolate because. Uh, okay. Sorry, but because, yeah. Yeah. Um, my own experience, Jobert, is like what I know is cacao and tablea. Then. Honestly, in my in my memories, back to my childhood memories, that's why yes. until now, even people call me the chocolate queen. But then, then I'm not comfortable the words right then to use chocolate. I try to, okay, the chocolate, so parang something like that. So, but the, the, it's when talking about love, it's not all about love. It's all about for me, it's a need. Mm. So, it, love and that's need is like yeah. It's, yeah. Love, it. and then of course, since you you know it's it's a need because since when I was I remember Jobert when I was a little girl back to my story that everyone knows my story mm -hmm. like my we'll chocolate tell, journey. We'll tell the audience about your story. Oh, so my chocolate. The story journey. is actually printed here, Aww. right behind us. My <laughs> So yeah, it's more on the the need Jobert that I need to drink cacao. So mm -hmm. and then of course, why? why I think that need? love. Sorry. Why is there a need for you to drink cacao? Again, to connect my to connect to to, to respond and answer, I need to a little bit of my history. my history is yeah. like because when I was a little girl, I want um when my parents were separated, mm. my grandparents took me and then brought me in that mountain and it's like seven rivers away from home going to school every day so and i remember my nanay balamban <laughs> <laughs> and my nanay always like sa bukid sa balamban you need to drink this okay and for you to survive yes, to survive so it's like it was already in my own yeah. na, you need to drink and then and also my experience of um drinking tablea not only for myself sa mga silingan you know, when I said mga silingan, tolo na good mika buo, masasilingan. Na every time may mga na, we have yeah. to drink. Then, then, 
my own it own was my own. so to speak the staple drink yes and then me personally as a mother of eight like on mm. my first second third yes she's a mother of eight <laughs> <laughs> so on my third child until my third child kay buhay pa nanay so i used to drink parang you know, i used to drink cacao or tamarind yeah. before going, giving birth and not only that your birth this is very very all of course interesting as well mm -hmm. because um, when I was a little girl, my grandmother told me because in the mountain there was no electricity, so always storytelling to make you parang lingaw, no? Because they well, my television, so my grandmother always Correct. you this know was, what? This Before, was during that was the 80s when in I the arrived 80s. in that mountain, so okay. you know what? Your grandfather, the father of my nanay, before he passed away, before he died, so usually pala. Ang mga tao sa bukid, before sila umatay, mag-prepare sila sa, well, nag-prepare sila sa on that bed na siya, Joubert. Part of it is, paim na si Kwate, para Ooh. ilang journey ko no. Interesting story. Na, yeah, true to it, mga mag-shag-chag before when bago sila, like, peaceful kayo. So, I think that's why when I answer the question about first love, it's all about the need first. It's naging, mm. na, na part na nako. Then, of yeah. course, it was, it was really part of your lifestyle. Yes, back but there in the mountain. Yes, but of course it was like, parang there was also at a time na when I, you know, after six years staying in that mountain, mm -hmm. my parents was um, get they get back together. So I was with in Manila. So it's like forgotten na like, dapat na so na You stayed there with your grandparents. Years, like, yes, and then six continue years. drinking that cacao, and mm -hmm. then of course not only drinking but goes with the story. The yes. legend. So yes. that made Let's more, talk about that. Yes, Very interesting more, story. The legend. So, but then again, Jubert, what makes me parang the more na, na in love ko, it's because, you know, the love. This time it's already the love. Because when I realized <laughs> six years ago, believe it or not, Jubert, you know, six years are maybe because before na yung company, it it's like a year pa man to share. That's why there's a chocolate yes. buffet, kato pa home right. ba, mga let's wait, paksiyo. A year pa man siya nag-product dev. So parang it's like a product dev pa siya. It was only then that I realized that you can actually put chocolate in yes. in Humba. And what funny sa ako on side job word is my discovery nga. Cacao is chocolate. So it's like ah, okay. I found a hidden treasure. So, so before, it, sa, sa, sa bukid sa una, Wala, wala na siya mga connection niya. Cacao, oh, chocolate, oh, chocolate is cacao. Yes, that, that's why it's not like about like, you know, the feeling of in love. Parang ayaw yun yung drink para mabuhi ka. Ah, <laughs> so, right. Ayun, ana, langit siya. O niya, kanan siya, Jubert. So that love, ni, and that, you know, that love of curiosity, so mm. love na develop siya na when, when I discovered the bian, Hmm. The, the beyond, you beyond know, the need, beyond the need, okay. beyond the meaning of cacao, and then there's a lot of usage. And of course, as a little girl, para before, kasi when you're a little, when you're, you know, when, when you're in the mountain, you feel like yeah. you feel like very little, banya, ulaw ka ay, mm -hmm. So then, when I realized, nga, wow, there's a hidden treasure in that mountain, so it made me para really empowered. Not just because of the title of the queen, so it, I became empowered. So na sa bukid, na may mga plantation. No, it's, it's not, not really a plantation, but that that's why. Tanong, Maka, where did you get the? No, no, uh, that, that's why. Okay, that's why the word like when someone asked me about farm, I have to post for a while. It's farm because like mm. ma, ma, the people now at least because who do farming of cacao, it's like really farming like. But, in, you know, but uh. in, in in my experience, you know, cacao grows in the forest. Mm. Before ko ni abut sa balamban, before sinana na tao, so cacao exists and part which has the forest. Mm. Not only cacao trees, there's a lot of huge trees like you know there's baliti tree, which the palace of Maria cacao, and then mm. kape, there's a coffee, a lot of kind of you know a lot so of So it was just around actually. Yes, oh. yes. And then of course if you want to add more that's why Nanay told me nga, because motigua nga ang sa sa cacao so you have kani siya tanong pa ni Lulo collects to ninyo. So, pani siya, kung matiguan, dapat magtanong na sa iglain. So, kanang mm. inanay, inanay, inanay. So, it's really there na din siya before na tao. Okay. That's why, strong kaayo ako ang hurag. Connection. Connection and the, claim. Uh, yeah, strong kaayo when I claim that this is one of our hidden treasure. Yeah, something ang like kakao. that. Ang kakao. Ang yeah. kakao, yeah. 
talk about your na emotion ako dapat <laughs> dapat hindi na ako emotional that's okay <laughs> it's very much okay. okay let's talk about your story because it says here if you can't read from there oh. it actually what the, the first sentence says my grandmother did not only give me a uh, tablet a drink she taught me how to prepare one. Oh yes what did she teach you how, how did you prepare it there <laughs> in, the, in the bookie a lot of yogurt like it's a you want someone to know your own did just I just I know you know it's really like you know it's beyond it's more than preparing that what um, people know now know now knows about preparation not only like food. yes it's the, beyond the it's more than yeah it's more than that because it involved um, a senses like uh, go directly to the brewing or to the making of the sequate because we call it sequate once the tablea mm -hmm. once the tablea cook in water, marry yeah. already in water, it's like growing. We call it sequate already. So this yes. is the tablea and the drink is the sequate. So to make the sequate, of course, not just as simple as magkiat kiat Okay, ang um, um, <laughs> um, sa kadaghanan, uh, many of us, of course, know what sequate is. Yes. But simple lang siya. Ikot ang nagigit mo sa tubig. Ang, no. Kaya kung, <laughs> kaya kung dili, wag kayo mainom. You know what, what I mean is like, Again, when I when uh, my experience in preparing sequate, of course, I grew up in the mountain when where there is no electricity. So, mm. ima imagine Jobert, na you have to na nai always to open your ganang you know ablihan and dunggan mamina so, mamina. Na nai your grand the, yes, grandma. Yes, okay. So you brew the you buka the of course you you boil the water, drop the tablea, and then once you drop the tablea and Imagine only suga, only kerosene lang. So kailangan pa mag-prepare. So or gabi eh, especially pag kalag-kalag, 8 o'clock suga to na ang kanang mga kalag. <laughs> so all you have to do, you have to prepare at na time nga. Interesting. Ini yeah. ini asog yun siya. Kaya it's like a perfume o nga naog na mga suga. That was that. Buti mo ito yung tinubuan. Yes. So okay. that's why it's very kind of ritual yun siya ang pag-prepare si Sikwadi. So sa Bisaya pa di yama-yamaan. <laughs> so so kaya na siya yung word. So, uh, I, I, ano naman siya? Of course, using the batirol, kanang mm. wooden. So you have to do like, and then listen. Kaya pag dili, mo awas na siya ma overcooking mo, niya mo saka na yung, niya di mga kakita, di mga pwede mag li, 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 li. So all you have to do, mm -hmm. you have to listen if the water and cacao, mo change man yung sound, kanang yung, yung pingog di work mo, yung sound mo change man na siya. So mo marry na na. Imagine, goes like this na, Ang oil, because cacao is high in oil, yeah, water man siya, so it's hard to marry the oil and the, the water. So all mm. you have to do is like careful and then paminaw ni mo siya. You have then, to help them marry. Yes, <laughs> you assess them, you tell yeah. them how, then, then listen and then believe it or not, one more indicator is only the, the sound. change man yung sound. Kaya kung ma over sa siya, musaka to siya sa mga, wana kay maino, mugawas to siya. So, kana siya. Exactly timing yun yun siya. And that's it. Kaya wala, kerosene lang pwedeng gamay na joker. Pagami yan pang pabilo para di makalas ang ang suga, ang kanang gas. So, gamay kay sana. So, more on the senses yun siya. And not only that, so it's beyond because my grandmother, usually in the mountain, mga yun joker, kaya ng, um, I use that's why thing I said thing on Annie for because, um, my ex. Let me have a sip, ha? Yes. This is your chocolate. Go, please. So, Everything is uh, everything you do, Bert. My nana always told me that everything start of first Sabine. So, mm -hmm. now allow me to share with you how we prepare please, the sequate. Yes. Of course, from the drying, from the roasting, it's really like tedious, of course. And again, when you do the roasting, it should be again, it should be have to not overborn to listen. So, the senses though, then ang indicator na mag ready na is like popcorn. Mag magbuto-buto na and then the other indicator is like mayon sinana ay dapat ang kayo nga para sa kayo nga inrog sa impierno na sinakado bukas na nag-impierno no so na yun kasi ako manikar ko sa una like ako yung buhat ko dito is like i use the bamboo kay dili ra mo bag because you're still a child oh yeah i just bamboo na no 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 dapat ang kayo nga rag impierno so meaning very kind of flaming hot ang ana niya may smoke so it's not that as simple as that so yeah rag simple siya tan-awon but, but actually, today, not, yes. yeah. before you continue, if you have questions or, or comments about the conversation, please post them in the comment section and we will ask your questions to the chocolate queen for you. Okay, so from from the mountain, um, now you're the chocolate queen. 
That's what they how does, it, how does it feel to be called the Chocolate Queen? It's not a very, it's not a light title, it's, it's a heavy title. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's like, of course, Queen. It's, but, uh, oh, by the way, it's... by the way, how did your, well, it eventually became the, the love for chocolate. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to reintroduce oh. chocolate? Because, um, okay, why? Several years ago, yeah. Because imagine, okay, by the way, my, you know, I'm an artist by heart. So I'm, I'm, I'm an artist, so I do a lot of things. But then I set aside everything. So I once, you know, into garments and then fashion designing, do a little interior. And, you know, I, I cook, I, you know, that was the thing. So I, I even saw like, you before yes. making furniture, pieces of furniture. <laughs> a lot, there were like accessories and a lot. But yeah. then, um, honestly, I set aside all those things when I, when I found out that cacao is the main ingredient of chocolate. So for me, there's more beyond, it's like there's more meaning and I believe there's a calling behind. So it's really like I can sense that Robert. So then, um, of course, why I'm doing this? Because imagine that I found a hidden treasure. So I need to, you know, to tell the whole world. So that, that's the whole and That's the motivation. Yes, that's okay. the motivation. I want to tell the whole world. And something like that. So that, that we Filipino exist, that we know how to make chocolate, that we exist in the chocolate world. And yeah. We found a hidden treasure. And of course, along the way, you know, you know I, I realized and I found out that Philippines is the first country who received cacao outside Mexico, all over the world. So wow, it's like mm -hmm. the more. So there's a lot, a lot story to tell about Philippine cacao history. That's why the more I became proud. So I, the more I empowered not just because of the title but of course the title that given to me surprise of course no the title that given to me to uh the people not first first of course the journalists the writers the one who interviewed me and then television and then people like follow everyone followed mm. like you know and if you remember correctly it was karen david of abs yeah the first, the first call oh you yeah of course sister the Lord. Yes, yeah. 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 so then and of course, it was surprising, but without parang take it parang heavy, I don't know. But along the way, it's like become deep, you know. It's like you know, title, you know, of course, that parang you look the queen, you know, the power. But after all, there's a bigger responsibility to work. Then of course, that's what I always, um, you know, try to talk day to day with my workers, with my children of course that it's beyond us after all mm -hmm. so and then because of that title Jobert, one of the secret when a lot of people that about business side naman that the challenges how you know and i think yeah. because of that title also Jobert, i cannot afford to disappear na i, I don't like na i don't <laughs> so no, i think that's one of the key now, Jobert, because of that title, mm -hmm. because I believe that is my calling. You're motivated to work yes. harder. Yes. So. Like higher expectations, I think, because you are now the chocolate queen. Mm, yes, so cool. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because when you when when you started the company, of course, with your partners and uh, with your husband and children, they've always been there yes. helping you in one way or the oh. other. Your eight kids. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You wanted to elevate the the level of chocolate making in the Philippines and. As you mentioned a while ago, to tell the whole world that we can actually make world-class chocolates. Because for many of us, the concept is when you talk about chocolates, the best are always the ones that come from abroad. No, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's the that's yeah. the that's a usual concept. Yeah. But you wanted to change that concept yes. and tell the whole world that we Filipinos, Sabuanos in particular, can actually make world-class yes. chocolates. Yes. You've proven that for. Oh. Just a very short span of time. Tell us about. Um, have you achieved? Do you think you've achieved this objective? Um, of course. Um, want an answer? Promise, uh, the right answer? <laughs> the honest answer? Of yeah. course, we always want the honest yes, answer. Yes, of course, your word, but it's so simple. <laughs> I need to tell. Yeah. You know, your word. Um, everyone knows that the love and passion that you know. I want to tell the whole world. Um, First, of course, by seeing people, especially now this year, you know that people seeing like 
carrying the bag, the TCC, and then, you know, the, you know, it was really like, so of course, parang fluttering when people mm -hmm. like came in, oh, parang imported ni siya. So, yeah. parang, ano ni siya. TCC, by the way, yeah, the, the, the chocolate, chocolate chamber. chamber. Yes. That's where they can buy, they can get your products. Yes. I When I, when you said that if I achieve, yes, when I said yes in, you know, in this, the, pag, you know, pag this, in the store lang, but in general, because mm -hmm. again, it's not all about me it's not all about the tcc alone but this is all about the philippine because i want to make an identity i want to make you know a certain identity that when you said chocolate in the philippines on like how how you can identify how you will be identified in the world mm. honestly not yet jobert but i'm happy what hap what happened now in the industry of the chocolate you know yeah. that everyone knows that there's a lot more than 20 who made chocolate already company who made chocolate businesses who really give interest yeah and that that angle you were the first it made me happy that i can say and very to proud myself, believe, yeah. yes to work but of course everyone knows humility aside of course that's why people dub me as a chocolate ambassador chocolate queen because we're the first one who elevated this and without knowing that everyone and it made me happy every time did you know Yesterday, someone said, mm -hmm. did you know that someone, and it, you know, I said, wow, parang my dream is there, but... And you never expected this. Yes, <laughs> and honestly, you're, we're talking about my response, my, my rule as a queen, not just as a chocolate chamber. Well, of course, I'm happy, but if I'm going to do dip, like, you know, when I, when I try to mamalando, for me, there's something... Kulam, there's lacking, there's parang it's like, you know, after all, Gary Nasad, instead of, you know, identity and standard, because what happened nowadays, Jobert, that's why I'm not satisfied yet, Jobert, because, um, due to it, there's yeah. a lot of who, who made chocolate, but into chocolate bar. Mm. And then once again, um, they forgot, sorry, but when I said identity, when I said, like, I want to make a certain identity, of course, everyone, all of us Filipinos, experience you know this tradition of drinking sequate. Not only me. That's why I always. This is my words every time there is um, you know since the Casa de Cacao is part of the chocolate tour, people who came. This is my final words to the one who met me, and of course, like the last is like I always told them that this is my sentence you found me i found you together we found our hidden treasure mm. so jubert um very philosophical yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry i was really okay. emotional you because know, no, no, sad no to say they almost like yes we found a hidden treasure but after all jubert everyone is into chocolate they forgot the the real part and for me it's like don't forget the tradition that you know what i mean i'm not mm. saying that but look at me the tablea into praline but what i mean first let's make you know let's yeah. make a certain identity and then of course later on of course dili good sa siya wad on sa jobert focus on that of course yeah and then of course later but what happened we always now? have to look back at yes. where we began yeah connect to this story connect to who you are connect the story because i'm not saying that the world standard in chocolate bar is wrong but only my aim and my goal is to yeah. be a certain identity lang. Right. So, and I think that is the reason why we are here I in... <laughs> because <laughs> I'm not satisfied <laughs> yet now the industry of chocolate yogurt. Yeah, but I think that's one of the reasons why we are here in Casa de Cacao, Cacao because here, if you haven't visited Casa de Cacao and you must visit Casa de Cacao, here you will understand uh, chocolate making, the history of chocolate making, um, in Cebu and the Philippines. The story behind, The yes. story behind the chocolate queen. Not only the chocolate queen, <laughs> the story behind of Philippine chocolate. So right. yeah, so I think that's more. So understanding uh, the real value of, yes, of, of the product mm -hmm. that we hold and we can buy from the store. Okay, so I think that's a good it's thing. It's quite that... emotional already. <laughs> you have to calm <laughs> down. Because, like, <laughs> that's okay, no problem. Okay, I, but I think that's a good thing that you are not satisfied yet with what you have done because that means that you have you want to work further. Yes. There is still a big room for improvement yes of course that's with what why we're doing yes yeah. but I, I just want to mention this despite you already having promoted uh, your story and the story mm -hmm. of philippine chocolate to you went to shanghai you you spoke uh, yeah. 
TED Ted, Talk there. Ted, yes. And then he also went to the US yes. shortly thereafter to join. What event was this uh, in New York? Lisa Lund de Chocolat. Yeah. yeah. Talk about the experience in Chiang Mai. <laughs> oh, in Chiang Mai. <laughs> in Chiang Mai, it's like, uh, well, thanks for, you know. You know, two years ago, that was two years ago, I think so. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah, two, two years, years ago. ago yes. And then, um, that's why I said, like, thanks for, I know, because um, I'm going to travel this coming, most probably this coming February in, in Chiang Mai. Mm, so, you're going so, back to Chiang Mai. Yeah, okay. going back to Chiang Mai for, it's like a reunion for a family. As a, mm. my, I became part of the TEDx, you know, family already as a speaker. So, well, that experience, you were totally. Uh, that's one of um, proof that I can really tell that there is, I believe this is my calling and then there is responsibility more coming bigger because um, imagine Jobert, I'm scared, no, this is the first, okay, that's the first talk in front of 1,200 people, <laughs> two, I want to two run, years, two, years ago. two years ago, yeah. and that is the first, I want to run, you know, mm -hmm. I want my feeling is I want to quit, I want to run, and I'm scared. Yeah, so, but I cannot afford once again because that my dream is I want to tell the whole world. So, I believe that is the platform of my dream. So, that courage, you know, I really like not talk, but I made a storytelling. I sit down and I, and I share with them. The title of my talk is My Affair with Chocolate. So... Well, of course, that's a very nice experience, and by the way, that's also one of the I don't know one of the key that for me. That's why I told that it's like the the, the platform because mm. of my dream. Because really, after talk, after that talk, it really continue, continue yeah. international. The, right, the right. response of so What was your message in to the audience in oh. in Thailand? I want to tell the whole world <laughs> that is my message that what I discovered that cacao is the main ingredient of chocolate once again I want to tell the whole world my dream is to tell the whole world that we Filipinos exist in the chocolate world industry that, that strong message that that, mm. that strong dream kana ra gid tahinong dan to dog na sa dream dream na for na for kaya everything starts with a dream I yes yeah. but after all oh the reality is like oh you have to work harder harder <laughs> So from Chiang Mai, Thailand, uh, you went to the U.S., yes. to New York in the U.S., yeah, to join the... the... The Lee Salon de Chocolat, mm -hmm. that's around 22 countries all over the world, and witnessed by 22 ambassadors. That's the amazing job, right? What did you do there? Uh, of course, Raquel brought her Lusong and Alho. <laughs> you know, it's like... In, in UN, huh? It's like really like a, a pound, a pound, and in front of you during the exhibit or during the chocolate tasting, I made a cacao de bola. Mm. Really like actual demo. Do you have it here? Do you have it here with you? Which one? The cacao de bola. <laughs> oh no, it's in me, but it's, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Hopefully, we can bring something in. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, and then exactly like this chocolate. Okay. And then I I garnish and. Whatever you know, food like some sam salmon, um, salami, cold cuts. So mm. that's how I introduced the cacao de bola into the savory side because the challenge, kasi it's like when you say chocolate, sweet. So then I want to tell the whole world that no, in the Philippines, it's not sweet. <laughs> like something like that. I connect to my experience. It's like bitter water when I was a little girl. Okay. So yeah. So yeah, it's a bit. It's a it's a nice opportunity, of course. Then after that, after I think after after New York, mm -hmm. and that, then I stay focused in here in in Cebu. In, in Cebu. So yeah. then next, because you were also very much involved in uh, the ASEAN. ASEAN, I think that that the ASEAN, of course, a all ASEAN meeting. Yeah. I involved, of course, the APEC started. Right, right. Started yes. at the APEC, so that's why. I really believe Robert. What, what did you do there? What did you do in, in during the APEC and oh. the ASEAN summit meetings? Well, during the APEC, the the APEC is like I handle the giveaways mm. of the or the VIP, VIPs, VIPs, yes. and then um, Casa de Cacao is part of the the parang destination or part of the itinerary yeah. of the spouses, and of course so we spouses handle, of the ASEAN leaders yes, came, came here in Casa de Cacao. Casa de Cacao. Yeah. And then, and of course, um, instead of coffee break, we call it chocolate break. So mm. I used to work 
that's why it's a um, parang collaboration with hotels to ho sa hotels but it's not yeah. the hotels who parang who request or who hired us mm -hmm. it's the of course the again, the ambassadors and dignitaries who requested the, our philippine of course um, government agencies the philippine government yes, yes who requested that the chocolate queen will do the you know the coffee break so it's a showcase of course parang yeah. ragpasigargo uh, yeah and not only in cebu jobert uh, asean i also went to manila, manila. Yeah. yes and this is uh, more on the 50 years we handle the 50 years probably the 50, That's years, right. 50 years of asean yeah. asean and we handle also the giveaways yeah and I was about to say, it's not just a private sector and your clients that have recognized the quality of your chocolates, but actually the Philippine government. Yes. Recognize you work closely with you work closely with the Department of Tourism, I believe. Yeah, uh, more. Yeah, of course. All well, honestly, you were no. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny with my, my experience because what you about say, mga when I started, I don't know what's my agencies, mm -hmm. but you know what? Um, you know what? Um, of course, the Department of Agriculture, the Department of Finance, mm -hmm. the Department of um, the DTI, of course. When I said like, when I said like, work closely, they usually for like, for example, said DA, usually DTI like um, DA DTI, what is a DA DTI tourism, and then and of course the Department of Finance. So usually PCO. So usually. Mm -hmm. Um, parang highlighted sa ilahang visit with mga ASIC, USIC, director so mm -hmm. highlight nila so they always come here so that's our parang collaboration and they're also supporting us mm -hmm. highlighting the Casa de Cacao and of course the Chocolate Queen uh, I think the part na sa signature nila nga oh the Chocolate we have a Chocolate Queen in the Philippines so, parang, <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's one and of course I do the demo the tradition yeah. what did you show the spouses uh, I can, when, when, um, when they were here, what did you? Here, what did you show them? Well, of course, uh, first the journey is the first like the cacao, of course the cacao, which is Ed will handle the cacao 101. Mm -hmm. So the history of the cacao when it's arrived in the Philippines, and then yeah, of um, course we like to say hi to Ed Pantino, your yes, of uh, your partner. <laughs> so yeah, he's your more partner of, in the business. Yes, he always like you know the first one who will welcome the guest here in Casa de Cacao. And of course, talk about the the cacao, but you know the whole the, the tree of the food of the gods from mm -hmm. the soil, from the flowers, the pods. So, and then second step is when we, of course, when they enter is the legend of Maria Cacao. Mm -hmm. So I will talk about the legend of Maria Cacao. That's what the usual experience of mm -hmm. our tourist here, the legend of Maria Cacao. And then the third is the. And of course, with the chocolate uh, chocolatada, so chocolate appreciation, I want them to share with them the you know what's the taste, how it tastes, how it tastes the Philippine cacao beans, and then of course my affair with chocolate, my chocolate journey, yeah. which I talk in TEDx. Mm -hmm. TEDx, um, that's what I I also talk in TEDx. Then of course, lastly, of course, is uh, to enter into the room, back of this room. There's just what we call the sequate ceremony, which I do the pounding and mm -hmm. making of tablea in traditional way and mm -hmm. of course allowing our guests our tours here to experience the real taste of cacao what that is, is the real what is the real taste not sweet not sweet of course okay. It's a, uh, Okay, some pe that, that's why you know some people in the hotel industry they call it the, the Philippine chocolate sommelier because yeah. when I when I you taste this and then you know what when you taste this you will and then some of the chef and chef what we can what, what okay okay and then you swirl this first and then okay Raquel what we can expect this when you taste this kind yeah. of cacao and what are you said and I said oh our Philippine cacao a cacao beans is like um, a little bitter and then peppery nutty so I, I keep on telling them that there's yeah. a lot of characteristic involved in that cacao so you don't just sell your products no. but you actually explain to them Honestly, what they can experience yes when they eat or yes. drink yes chocolate. actually sorry to say but sometimes i forgot that sustainability is uh i need to take care of the business side so <laughs> I, it's, i'm more than on the passion but i yeah. promised myself to the of course to the team to the company that i also need to take care on the business side because yeah. we need to sustain as as mentioned lately that i don't want you know i cannot afford that after this asa naman to inyo hapon wala na kay you know we cannot sustain so yeah. the business side because when i when I talk about cacao, I forgot when I when I I forget that I'm selling or I'm introducing. It's like I'm talking, I'm talking about this, you know, yeah. the passion. So and of course yeah. it will balance. 
But there's a question there. Do you also sell something, anything sweet at all? Ah, uh, of course. Um, yeah. Why? Okay, the sh the product that I showcase here, Jobert, is the raw material. When I said the raw material, this is our tablea. Because tablea. Everything starts. With yes, this. in tablea. Okay. Yes, from the pondibola, the quick melt tablea. Then I put sugar in it to make into praline. Like for example, praline. Mm. Tablea Can plus sugar. Yeah, yeah, please. And then of course the handle truffle. Which yeah. is the handle truffle, Jubert? Is the right. really the uh, already five years na give away some mga dignitaries, of course, and not only yeah. dignitaries. One of the kwaan yun siya, one of the parang top three uh, products at the chocolate chamber. Ha, ha. See, sorry, how, how do you eat this best? Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to bite right in the right, right in the middle, middle. Yeah. right, right, yeah. because there is a there is a full cacao in it. Put in the center. Yeah. Then. So the sweetness is there actually. Mm. No, no, no. The sweetness. No. Cacao, remember, this is not sweet. The cacao. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm. Mm. Please, you try the bird. Not yeah. sweet, but with. Mm. Sorry, guys. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> then, this is the tablea. Mm. Put in the molder, of course. But before putting the molder, the tablea plus the sugar. Mm. Mix it and then put in the molder. So for sugar. Mm. The sweetener is like sugar. So it depends. I also develop like with a coconut sugar, white sugar. But of course, we have lots of product, uh, more than 50. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like um, the truffle again, mm. the tartuffini, the choco mango nuggets. Mm. And not only that, I develop. Tablea in a powder form, and I infuse 22 flavors, including bubblegum, your favorite. <laughs> yeah, so. I remember that, yes. <laughs> yeah, so. so what's you your, insp your, what's your inspiration? When, when you make this, when you come up with these ideas of how you can create products out of chocolate, well, um, what's your inspiration? Well, sorry. Sorry, just <laughs> that. <laughs> Depend, okay. For the Luji I when I said Luji I well just get another please. one. <laughs> For the Luji I depend okay. When I when I develop, it should be not because I want it and I want to, to brag now, okay, I'm the first one. No. It should be just a reason why. Mm. So there's always a story yes. behind. Yeah. Okay. Because again I'm not a chocolatier. I didn't study all you know how to make the chocolate and that's why so quick question how did you learn if you did not study if you didn't go to school to make you know all these I'm chocolate sure products I'm going to answer the, the, the real I'm answer. So how, how did you learn to make these, these mm. chocolates chocolate products when okay for learning is like um learning is because it's my it's your date it's like okay I will connect this as a mother because I'm a mother with so because I was yeah. 16 when I when I my first baby. Of course, I don't know how to raise this baby because six, 16 years old. That's my first question. Why me? So, mm. but of course, after all, it's not me. So it's like it's all about fate. Of course, then it's like that, Robert. It's like when I raise my children and they grow up. So it's like you you learn along the way because it's like I live, I I, I sleep, I bath, I like with right. chocolate. So it's like. I learned along the way, you know, it's like the art of making and mm -hmm. I think because of, you know, artists can, you know, you can create out of, you know, imaginations. Imagine. Yeah. But of course, the my foundation is I think why I can develop values is because I developed my last answer is like I developed this with all my senses. Mm -hmm. So it's again back to my childhood memories. Now, back to the book. Yes, okay. again, that's very important. When they ask me. As a chocolate sommelier, who is your trainer? And I said, uh, because I need to answer. Because right, I mean, yeah. there's not a question you have to answer. Especially now that you well, are. Well, I uh, my my answer is like being a chocolate sommelier. Well, my trainer is how do I say it? But rocks, twigs, rivers, mountains. <laughs> so that's like that's the reality. It's like and of course you have to tell the, the story. Yes, of it. course, yeah. because you laugh after all, and then again when they laugh, and then it's, when I start. Telling the story, the legend of Maria Cacao, and then oh, but, yeah, about that, yeah. yeah, so tell us about the legend of Maria Cacao. Because... I was like, oh, amazing, something like that. Tell us about 
tell us about the legend of Barilla Cacao because that's one mm. of the stories that you highlight when guests visit the yes. why Casa de Cacao. Yeah. Why? It's not um, why first you were the legend of Maria Caca uh, you know life in the mountain Jobert when I arrive in that mountain it's not that easy it's difficult how do I say it? it's difficult totally different to the city where I came from mm -hmm. of course it's dark <clears throat> the food was totally different you have to cross seven, seven rivers, rivers from the school and not only that it's like um, it's scary because um, not because monsters are you know um, that was the 80s when I arrived mm. in that mountain. The words rebels, you know, there's a lot of rebels. So I'm really scared of dark and rebels when sometimes at the middle of the night you hear the guns, you know, you know the sounds of the, the guns firing and you don't know what's yeah. going on outside because six o'clock we need to be inside the house already. But you know, that legend, Jover, is a way of comforting us that I can tell you because my grandmother, the moment she started telling me about the legend that mm. the legend says that long ago a fairy lived in this forest this was when i was a little girl and start listening while pounding while magaling umais <laughs> <laughs> long ago a fairy lived in this forest that forest not not in the cacao trees her name is Maria Cacao. Mm. Oh, she was the queen in the forest. She lived in a magical tree that fireflies lit in the night. And that magical tree, so it's Dakit, it's Baliti tree. Mm -hmm. Then, according to the legend, that once a year, Maria Cacao harvest the cacao pod and loaded into her magical ship. When, you, when I said magical ship, because no one, of course, no one sees it when Maria Cacao passed by mm -hmm. on that seven rivers. So then Maria Cacao start her journey passing on that seven rivers, exactly where I pass every day going to my school. Mm -hmm. So I think that that connection, Jober, very strong, very strong to me. So then Maria Cacao travel all over the world. Then according to the legend that Maria Cacao, each time she dock in each country, the ship will turn into gold. So it's like magical story. So malimut kas the hard look sa bukid sa kalisod. So that's why that legend, I keep on repeating and telling and telling. Then I realized after all Jubert, when I went to New York, that everyone, 22 countries, bringing their chocolate and then, you know, different cakes, bars, you know, bonbonas. And then they keep on like, oh, you tried it, you taste this. But, you know, they don't have story to tell and I said wow and then we're the only one so when I start telling and talking about this story everyone's like really so I think that's more made me as well Jobert na parang why yes yeah. that we're the only country and not only country but we're the only here in Visaya area this is not in you know in Visaya that legend of Maria Cacao that's mm. why when they asked me, Raquel, until now, why you're, you're not exporting your cacao? Why you're not exporting your chocolate? And first, my goal is I want more tourists to come and to visit to the Philippines, to the Philippines, yeah. and to experience and to listen. Because when you listen the story and connected to the land, I know again, mas Pilipinas like really so amazing. So I think mas bugat siya. And for mm -hmm. me, if you're we're talking about sustainability, for me, you know it. You know it raises more. More funding, more money to come yeah. in the, in It'll the follow. Yes. It'll follow. It, and, yeah. and of course, like tourist guide, like like now we closely work with mga 15 ka tourist guide Manisula. Mm -hmm. So kana siya, so the tourist guide, the hotels, the driver. So for me, it's mas ano siya kung not not to export. So that's why I didn't export yet. The you know I'm not saying not not, but not now because why? Again, I want to grow together with the farmers. I don't mm -hmm. want to export right then. Mo uh, pagani pagani discover ni mo na export. So you have to check first the, the land or you know the farmers that ready na ba ang supply. Goes back to to Again, your experience. Yes, of yeah. course. And use the senses under that feel. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, there's a question here. Um, how do you see the chocolate industry in the Philippines? Yeah, maybe ten years from now. Oh. Uh, Scary. <laughs> scary. Scary. Why scary? Yeah, if that's, that's when I say scary, why? Because uh, 
now palang gani like the com when I started is like five years, six years, mga you know six years, but I think three years magila ng tong picture over. Grabe ang interest sa mga chocolate um the problem is like more on you know first there's farming but the chocolate maker who made this chocolate the problem is like why am I scary if we will continue that you know that kind that path, of, yeah. that, that path na everyone wants to you know sorry to say but everyone wants to be in the in the line in the in the in the, in the, mm. in the front that everyone oh my nasa ko chocolate so mm. but uh, scary Jobert because if you forget to check first, that's the land as well because nature, you cannot pay money in the nature kung hindi siya muhatag o bunga. Look at nowadays, o one email. So, scary kung yung anak kadaghan, kung yung anak pa massive, o yung anak na ang pagtrabaho sa, especially that what I know... The demand. Yes, shortage of cacao. And then what will happen if shortage of cacao? Kung imong i... You know, because the goal, what I see sa all the companies, their goal is to export the chocolate. Bar. Volume. Volume, yeah. yeah. And then we have, you know, uh, we have also big and giant chocolate cacao beans buyer inter in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So parang, it's so scary 10 years from now if even ana pa ang ato a farming direction. And then, true to it, na there's a lot also of uh, cacao growers or farmers. But then, back to nature. You have to, ang foundation tan ang binato, fertile na bang soil, ano na bang soil, so farming. The, that's also something that we have to give attention to. Yes, I'm farming. And not only in farming, but I'm a farmer because believe it or not, each one of us, we have a role to play. You have to check it off. Because a lot of people, you know, claim I'm a cacao farmer. And then, namanuhol lang ka, sorry to say, Jobert. Because farming is calling as well, Jobert. It's not that easy. So, kana siya. Dapat you you know, of course, when I said scary, it was really growing. It's really like very fast. That that was already. Kung mayong kang gitawag na kung nisikat or na ilhan or na sabag yun po. Three years pa man ba yung Jover? But that's how already the gone because everyone like oh ka ang chocolate queen kaya wash naman ng chocolate will of course mamalit naman sila ng machine when they have a money. So everyone, if you have lots of money, especially nowadays, because there's a lot of you know wants to invest and then you yeah. know I, this is really also my experience. So what should we do well, aside from of course taking care of the farmers mm -hmm. and the land um, I think it's also maintaining the balance right? Yes of course and yeah of course when I said check the, the nature the mother like kind of back to back to of course um, like for example as much as possible in our packaging, di pang mahimo o like plastic kana siya yung chocolate. Mm, okay. Kaya di nature when I said bisan patanan mag farming kung ang you know sorry but di grow up magugubuke Jobert. So yeah, kana kana that, that's kung ang you kung ang yuta for, yes yeah. kung ang yuta Jobert di lang yung chocolate talo kundi kaya muna tagbagyuhon siya initon siya alinya laninya whatever mm -hmm. this kana ng you know crazy changes of our kuan una kana yung siya sorry to say but ang at the end, ampuan yun na to, ang mother nature ato yung magandong yun na mag... You know what I mean? In a bigger scheme of things. Yes, yes. Kaya kung dili, Jobert, scary yun siya. Kaya kung ano man yun ka, fast growing yun ka, ayaw siya. Okay. Yan. Remember, nga kung di, isang pagpunsa ko kung yun na yung mga lahan ba. So, kaya na siya, Jobert. Of course, not only, okay. Remember that the legend, Maria Cacao, she's the queen in the forest. So, when you said forest, that involved different kinds of trees. Remember, yeah. cacao grows in the forest, not in the in shading. The kind of mga shade shades you were to like na yag like na dobe na ay na nilay nilay. So that's why ang cacao kung makita ka sa unang panahon you were ang cacao na ragras mga tikus pa lang lasang lasang yan. Alam na ragin na shading. Ha and then mukro okay. siya dagdag kay siya gumawa. So now at least back to po ang dapat na kung di cacao tak pananong 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 pananong. So back to po ang na again. Back to my affair or my chocolate journey or my life journey. Balik when I said balik probinsya kung tanaw ni mo nga like for example me when after six years you were again back to my story. Well, I don't have any excuse but to connect these things, especially that I didn't study. Well, this is your story. Yes, and I didn't study and I didn't even finish college, so everything. Kaya na ko na ko Jobert, but everything Jobert back to the story that God allowed things, you know, God allowed things happen to me because you know, when six years ago, you know, sorry, when I was 
in the mountain for six years and after that when my parents get back together and then you know I try to back to my story but about ako sa Manila Jover there's no trees and then when I you know when I said that before that when I arrived in the mountain totally you know totally different difficult but when I arrived in big city Nisamot. Nisamot. <laughs> that's why why walay kahoy wakay magmatupo ng mga kamungay and water even water kasi na ako sa sorry to say but na ako sa Manila nga dagang kaisa kana walay punuan so I became a garbage collector and I became a you know not on not, there's nothing wrong about garbage collector housemaid house help you know saving candles but what I mean Jobert is kana siya kung tanaw ni mo nga kinanaman ka muli so back to the message the whole message is Take care of the mountains, or back to the kwaan to the bukid. Kung tanaw ni mo nara ka nagkuis sa squatter or maglisod ka din ha. So back to the mountains, and for sure, DA you know, you know of course DA will help the Department of Agriculture work together with the Department of Agriculture for those ano so panuktok lang dito sa Department ng Agriculture. Unsa umas na balik yung the bukid for me balik ko. Very inspiring. So okay. What can we look forward to from the Chocolate Queen this 2018 and um, beyond? Okay, um, um, of course, um, I want uh, more 2018. I want more uh, again. First, I thought I told to myself na muno na ko and hina ko but then I want to expand the brand mm. abroad, not necessary. The physical store but i want to expand more on start i will travel so february i will travel to Chiang Mai, and then in different form like um of course the chocolate appreciation again awareness and of course uh maybe a few product so if so to say uh if going to export now because again the awareness of the mm -hmm. uses of cacao maybe only the cacao di bola okay and then because you can do a lot of things for this right? yes yeah. and selective Market only okay. because the cacao de bola it will last. Dili gudi siya ingon nga ingon nga kanang you know the chocolate bar one ka uno na lago kanisya is like you have to garnish. Maybe some people consume this mga two months, three months kung ilang ang pang garnish and so strong ha kay quad mga chefs. Yeah, so, Ad advice to those who are the chocolate lovers what can you make? What can you use this for and with? You can, um. You can let's say toppings for your cakes, for cappuccino, cafe latte, okay. uh, tiramiso, pasta, pizza. If you want to infuse with cacao, everything in your, you know, the everyday kasi is cassava cake. Mm. So when I went to New York, bam e barbecue. So really, even, even bam e. Yet oh, it enhanced the flavor because you look at this peppery. Yeah, no. I should try that. That's yeah. right. You know, can I have your? Can I just take yeah. even in an onan? I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, a very um, traditional in an onan. You can actually use this, yeah, in an onan, uh, buwan. Yeah, so I think, um, what I'm going to do now, Jobert, is to expand the brand, meaning mm -hmm. the brand, and not. Again, not, not necessarily the physical store, the chocolate chamber, yeah. but expand the, the awareness, of course, what the chocolate doing, the brand, the story, yeah. sharing, more on, again, talk, more on, again, talk, sharing, and then a few of the product, which is focused on Cacao de Bola, to export and in Chiang Mai. And we wish you the very best of luck. To us, <laughs> so, to all of us, yes, and thank you very much for thank putting you. the Philippines in the international map as far as chocolate making is concerned. We are, of course, uh, very proud of you, our very own chocolate queen, no less than from um, coming from Cebu. Balamban. From, from Balamban. <laughs> <With the legend. laughs> from Balamban. Again, our Raquel thank show. You, Raquel, thank you very much for joining us thank you in for this very first episode thank of the Freeman so Conversations this 2018. Thank and we hope you. you look forward to having more of you um, and, of course, your thank chocolates you. in the rest of the year. Thank you. Best wishes to us all. Of course, cacao. your message, your message yeah, to first, best your wishes supporters. wishes to us all yeah. for cacao growers, uh, farmers. Makers as well. Don't forget the tradition. Don't forget the, the tradition. <laughs> and, then, and of course, consumers. You know the 
the buyers or the, our clients that after all it's beyond clients they became mm. already our friends you know, friends it's so and even family yes yeah. actually jobert that made me you know more on another than jobert so thank you so much and more you know best wishes to us all <laughs> happy new year happy and new year senior. <laughs> that's right yes sinulog sinulog yes. yes. will be launched in uh, january 11 of, yes, yes, January 11th. Oh, and of course, until the 22nd. And my birthday is January 12th. Advanced happy birthday. Thank you. Advanced happy birthday. You. And to all of you, uh, again, we're chatting with the chocolate queen, Raquel Choa. Thank you very much for joining us in this very first episode of the Free My Conversation, Conversations for 2018. And we look forward to having you in our other episodes. I'm Joe Alcal, the online editor of The Freeman. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time here with The Freeman Conversations.